Hey, so I uh, promised a TPS uh, video, how to check it, adjust it. So here it goes. So I've got my voltmeter set up on DC volts. This is the ground common to the battery. Got my positive lead. And right now I've got it in the second from the top. with a back probe. It's a green wire with a red stripe. And at rest, the throttle should show, the throttle position sensor on this wire should show 0.75 to 1.25 volts. You can see mine is in spec, even though right now my engine's cold. You should do this with your engine warm. Um, and then to check the other spec, you want to open the throttle all the way. So 5 volts, which is good. The spec is 4.8 to 5.0. And then back closed. And we're going to repeat this process for the bottom wire on the TPS sensor, which is a black wire with a green stripe. I'm gonna try and do this. The throttle kind of gets in the way here, but if you take the elbow off, it helps too, but I didn't want to, so I'm just gonna back probe it into the connector like so. See if you can see that. Gotta focus on the right thing. go shoved in there and so this one should be 0 0.1 to 0 0.7 volts closed and then 4.2 to 4.6 open so we're gonna open the throttle here you can do it with someone in the car if, they, if you have a friend so that's with inspect two so that's good if we needed to adjust it there are two bolts or screws on the back side here they're really hard to see because they face the firewall but uh, the OEM ones are Phillips heads which is really stupid so you need like a short right angled Phillips I swapped mine out for some small six millimeter head hex heads um, so when you adjust it, you can just break them free lightly so that they're not loose. You don't want them loose, but just so the sensor can turn, but with a little bit of effort. You don't want it flopping around. Um, and you have to play with the top and the bottom, you know, um, loosen one, rotate, tighten, loosen the other, rotate, tighten until you get your values within spec. Um, this hose here is for the accelerated warm-up. Typically would go into the stock elbow, so you're gonna wanna get that out of the way. Mine's just capped because I have a gritty elbow, so it doesn't uh, do anything. But uh, yep, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have a Power FC, this job becomes way easier. You can forget about the voltmeter. You can just read it on the screen. And what you're going to be looking at is, wow, this does not show up good at all. Let's see. So you're going to go back previous to your main menu. Um, go to etc. And then you can go to sensor SW check. And the values you're going to be looking at is VTA1 and VTA2. And you can just sit here and modulate the throttle with your foot. Watch those values, make sure they're within spec. Again, do it at um, operating temperature. Yep, and that's it. PFC makes it a lot easier, but now you know how to do it both ways.